Hey, you know when your friends come over and you want to show them something on your computer, but it's like seven years old and it takes an hour to load a YouTube video? It literally makes you feel naked standing in front of them, right? It's time to upgrade. New Windows 7 desktop. This thing's a monster. We're going to show it to you in just a sec. Hey, check this out. Lenovo has released a seriously thumping uh, desktop tower here. It is the Idea Center K300 from Lenovo, and it is absolutely packed. All right, we've got an Intel Core 2 Quad Q8300 processor. That's a 2.5 gigahertz processor, 6 gigs of DDR2 RAM, a 640 gigabyte hard drive, DVD-RW. It has a built-in TV tuner. It's got a great graphics card. It's got the ATI Radeon HD 4350 on board, which is a very nice discrete graphics card. Uh, it also has a TV tuner. It comes with a media center remote control and uh, also has wireless built in. Uh, we're talking B or G wireless on board this awesome computer. And on top of all that, you're going to get Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit edition as well. So you're looking at one of the most top-of-the-line uh, pre-built systems out there from Lenovo. And you see it comes in a really, really sharp-looking case. It's all around a really, really nice system. So let's go ahead and show you around this entire thing so you can get familiar with it uh, before you think about purchasing it. First of all, up front, you're going to find uh, your multi-card readers right up here, as well as two conveniently located USB ports. You also have headphone and microphone ports up front at the top as well. Below that, you're going to find uh, one of your drive bays. This is where our DVD-RW is located. And then an empty expansion bay just below that. And, of course, down here, you're going to find your turbo switch. Haven't seen one of those in a long time, right? Yeah, this one is actually to control uh, the fan in the computer, not the processor speed. So you're not going to be able to jack this thing uh, from 50 megahertz to 66 megahertz with that switch. You're just going to make sure your computer runs a little cooler. So if it happens to be making a lot of noise, you can quiet it down without much trouble. Around back, you're going to find the rest of our connectivity and ports on this particular box. Back here, you're going to see that you do have a couple of PS2 ports. You've got a serial port. You've got VGA. You've also got six USB ports as well as an Ethernet port back here. Line out, line in, and microphone. Uh, here is your ATI Radeon graphics card. You've got DVI and VGA. Below that, you're going to find your TV tuner, which is going to allow you to use the full capability of Media Center in Windows 7. And then down here, you're going to find your wireless card, which again is B or G. So it does have built-in wireless, which is a very nice feature of this particular desktop. On the inside, let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. Just a couple thumb screws is all you need to remove to get inside this particular computer. And you're going to find the layout to be quite clean, quite easy to get around in here, very, very spacious. Uh, down here is where you're going to find that graphics card. There's your ATI Radeon graphics card, TV tuner, and wireless card down here. So you do have a PCI X16 slot, two X1 slots, and then a standard PCI slot right below that. Over here you're going to see that three of your four uh, SIM slots are being used. It does have six gigs of memory so you could very easily bump this to eight by simply adding one SIM uh, or if you'd like to upgrade other, any other way you certainly can but right out of the box you are dealing with six gigabytes of memory. Hard drive is located right over here with plenty of space to add more drives as well as your optical drive right up here and again right below that you do have your expansion bay so you can add another DVD drive or a Blu-ray drive or whatever it is you so choose. So there's plenty of room for expansion even though the computer comes already packed out with just about everything you could possibly need uh, for gaming, for using Windows Media Center, for all of it. It's a solid system and it's not going to let you down. And it's going to run Windows 7 really, really well. So check this one out. It's the Lenovo Idea Center K300, brand new and here with the arrival of Windows 7. To get more info on the Lenovo K300 Core 2 Quad Tower, go to com.pewter.tv and search for Lenovo K300. For Computer TV, I'm Bauer.